Earlier in the show, we were all inspired by Jack Clunan and his incredible story. Make sure you check it out on our Halftime Howie show, page on Facebook, and also Halftime Howie on YouTube. But Jack has a special talent. He's a stand-up comedian. We didn't give him much time to prepare, but he's down for it. And uh, he's a terrific comedian, so we're going to bring him on now. Let's, ladies and gentlemen, let's have a round of applause for Jack Clunan! <laughs> My man Jack, the microphone is yours, my friend. We're already into March of the new year. Welcome to 2018, where Long Island counterfeiters are now selling knockoff Goosey, Louis Vuitton, and Stop and Shop ads. <laughs> in China, it's the year of the dog, but in New York, it's the year of the bad tax. <laughs> It's in the parking lot. Three cents on the dollar, three cents on the nickel. I give you three cents on the nickel. I got your bags right here. It's the dumbest thing I ever heard of. I like how the bag tax had just completely changed the etiquette at checkout. Like, I used to be all polite and put my groceries down and help bag them, you know, wave, smile. Now I'm just, I'm just standing there like, no, no, I'm not doing nothing. I'm paying, you're bagging, let's go. <laughs> but no, it's cool to be here. This is something I've wanted to do for a long time now. I haven't yet been healthy enough to do it though. I actually just finished battling cancer along with chemo and all the side effects that go with it. So I'm very excited to share with you guys a dream that I've had for a while now. No, not my dream of performing comedy. My dream of finally being able to do this. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was my dream. Beat cancer and perform for five people. That was it. <laughs> and I just got new hearing aids the other day to go along with my hip replacement adventure. Officially completing the senior citizen hat trick. <laughs> Good thing I don't need glasses. Otherwise, it'd be a senior citizen grand slam. <laughs> Here's a dance mistake they don't tell you, though. I got a dog recently, but I accidentally trained him without my teeth in. So now, if I want him to sit down, I gotta go, sit, sit down, stay, stay, stay doing. Good going. <laughs> so annoying. <laughs> and his name is Sam. Mike, Sam, Sam, come here, Sam. And aside from cancer and all that uh, other stuff, I'm also a very proud recipient of three liver transplants. Go big or go home, right? <laughs> 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 you know, I was driving my car the other day, and I was thinking, as a transplant patient, with part of somebody else already inside me, can I be allowed to drive in the HOV lane by myself? <laughs> I'm just saying it would help, man. It would help. Now, let me ask you this. Does anybody else in here watch Family Feud? Absolutely, mm -hmm. yeah. Yep. Because they're too stupid for Jeopardy? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I'm asking for a friend. I'm asking for a friend. <laughs> now, sometimes I feel kind of smart, so I'll turn on Jeopardy, and they'll ask, this number between 1 and 20 has one vowel Four times. I'm like, time for Family Feud. <laughs> and aside from Family Feud, I like to watch a lot of weird shows too. Basically, anything with some messed up people on it, I'm watching it. Because it makes me feel better about myself. <laughs> now here's a show I like hoarders. Do we have any hoarders people in here? Any hoarders watchers? There we go, there's always one in the crowd. There's always one. <laughs> Lifetime, bro. Don't go over his house. <laughs> my house is clean. <laughs> Every time I think my room is kind of messy, and I should probably clean it, I just turn on hoarders. I'm like, eh. Not that bad, actually. 
me. Not that bad. I can put it off some more. And here's another show I like. You gotta be careful with this one. It's called My Strange Addiction. They got some real wackos on that show. <laughs> one time I was watching the show, they had a lady on there who was addicted to eating tape. <laughs> addicted to eating tape. So I'm watching the show, cracking up, feeling great about myself, and then all of a sudden, they cut to an interview with her fiance. And I was like, wait a minute. Beyonce? How did she have a fiance? She eat tape. <laughs> There's something wrong with me I don't know about? <laughs> I can't get a date. I don't eat tape. <laughs> and then I was watching the show again. They had a lady on there who drank gasoline. Oh, no. She drank gasoline. Oh, I know, it's disgusting. That's bad. But she was getting married too. And all I think is like, What's going through that guy's mind that he wanted to date a girl who drank gasoline? Like, what was he thinking? Like, I, at least I know she's not a smoker. <laughs> <laughs> and they had another guy on there who was addicted to eating paper. Addicted to, eat, to eating paper. But he was getting married too. All the wedding invitations had to be emailed. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it's also, we're also observing Lent right now, we've got Lent going on. My dad informed me that he gave up chips for Lent this year. Because that's an even trick. <laughs> I could just picture Jesus up there like, really? Chips? <laughs> you know I died for you, right? <laughs> <laughs> You stopped eating chips for 40 days, so we're even now. <laughs> and I'll leave you guys with this. When life throws you hardships, you can either laugh or cry. And trust me, laughing's a whole lot more fun. Remember to think about becoming an organ donor because it really works. Thank you. Thanks for having me on here. Thank you. Jack Clooney, that was awesome. Look at that.